Show and tell. It's something most of us practice as children, but as adults we often tell, 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 without leveraging the power of visuals. But a good communicator knows how and when to leverage visual elements, like screen captures, for more efficient and effective conversations. I'm going to show you how easy it is to capture this error to show my IT department. I could type out the message and try to explain it, but sharing a screen capture will be faster and a lot clearer. So let's take a screen capture. First, open Snagit. If you're on a Windows system, search for Snagit in your programs and applications. On Mac, use Spotlight. If you can't find Snagit on your computer, pause this tutorial and go download it. Then come back and continue. There are instructions on how to download and install Snagit below this video. When you open Snagit, you'll see the capture window. On Mac, click the Snagit icon in the menu bar to expose the capture window. You should see three tabs on the left, Image, Video, and All-in-One. All-in-One will probably be your go-to capture tab because it combines many different capture modes into one very flexible super capture. If you want to customize an image or video capture, you could adjust the advanced settings on these other tabs. With that in mind, let's take our capture. First, click the big red capture button. See the yellow crosshairs that go across the screen? Move your mouse and aim the middle at what you want to capture. Notice the area outlined with yellow? Everything inside the yellow box is what Snagit will capture when you click. And as I move my mouse around, the selection area changes according to the window or object I'm pointed at. And if I click the full screen button at the top of my screen, I could capture the entire screen and bring it into the Snagit editor. But I only need to capture this error so I'm going to use the crosshairs to take a region capture. To make a selection, click and drag the crosshairs across the screen. Notice that the magnifier appears to help me make a precise capture. Now, I've been holding my mouse button down this whole time to select this area. While still holding my mouse down, I'm going to use my other hand to nudge the crosshairs pixel by pixel, using my keyboard arrows to get every pixel selected that I want. When I let go of the mouse, the Snagit Capture toolbar appears. If I selected the wrong area, I can adjust the area by dragging the selection handles. I could also choose to redo or cancel my capture. To complete my capture, I need to select whether I want to capture an image or a video of the selected area. Since I know I want an image, I'll click the Image Capture button, which brings my capture into Snagit Editor. If I want to take another capture, I can quickly return to the capture window from Snagit Editor with the red capture button. I'm going to use the share button to save my image to my computer, then just attach it to my help ticket to share with IT. To learn about editing your captures, check out the tutorial on basic editing.